Hello guys and welcome to a new lesson in Linux. This lesson is about building your lab on VirtualBox, the lab that we will be running Linux on during the rest of the course. The preparation of the lab will contain an overview on VirtualBox so that we know what is VirtualBox and a bit about virtualization, kinds of virtualization and the privileges of VirtualBox. And the next step will be the installation of VirtualBox in Windows. And then we will see how to create your first virtual machine. And then the installation of CentOS on the virtual machine. Okay, now what do you think VirtualBox is? Well, VirtualBox is a software that gives you the ability to work with several operating systems on your computer at the same time. And it does that by using the virtualization technique. As you can see over here, I am working on Windows 7. And in the VirtualBox, I am running CentOS 7. So now, as you can see over here, there's a simple explanation of VirtualBox is that it's a virtualization software. But before talking about virtualization, let's take a look at the pre-virtualization. Okay, so as you can see here in this picture, this is a picture of pre-virtualization. This is the normal case and the normal layers of a computer without the virtualization layer. So you can see in this picture are the layers of the computer. And here we have the first layer, which is the hardware layer. And this layer contains the RAM, the hard disk, and the processor. The second layer contains the operating systems that you are running. For example, Linux or Mac or Windows. And the third layer is the layer that contains the softwares and applications that you download and install on your operating system. Each one of us has a hardware in his personal computer and is working on an operating system, for example, Windows, and you have some installed softwares like Microsoft Word, Firefox, and so on. So now let's see what is virtualization and what is the virtualization layer. Okay, now as you can see in this picture, there is the hardware layer in the beginning and this is the cold uh, and this is called the physical hardware this layer includes the processor the ram the network card and the hard disk now above the hardware layer there is the virtualization layer the virtualization layer has the ability to convert hardware layer into a virtual hardware this will result into having a virtual ram a virtual hard disk, a virtual network card, and a virtual processor. Now what else does the virtualization layer do? The virtualization layer gives me the ability to install more than one operating system at the same time on one computer. And each operating system has a virtual hardware reserved from the physical hardware. For example, here above the virtualization layer, I have two operating systems. For example, this one over here is Windows and this one over here is Linux. Each operating system of those is using a virtual RAM, a virtual hard disk, a virtual processor, and a virtual network card that are reserved from the original physical hardware. And of course the virtualization layer or the virtualization software is the software that does this operation. This is what I'll be doing in this course. I am working on Windows but I'll install Linux on a virtualization software for practice which is the VirtualBox. Of course there are many other benefits of virtualization but this will require a full course about it and it isn't the main subject of this course. Okay, now a brief explanation of virtualization is that it's a software which gives you the ability to run more than one operating system at the same time. So this is exactly what the virtual box is. Okay, now what are 
the kinds of virtualization. There are two kinds of virtualization. The first kind is called bare metal and the second kind is called hosted. In the first kind we have the hardware layer and then above this layer there is the hypervisor layer and then above the hypervisor layer you can create virtual machines. Each virtual machine has its operating system and each virtual machine has its resources from the physical hardware. Okay, the hypervisor here is a software and here are the bare metal hypervisors. We have examples like the VMware ESX. There is the Oracle VM. We here have the Zen that is used in the Amazon Web Services. And we have Hyper-V from Microsoft and there is KVM from Linux. The second kind which is the hosted. In the hosted we have the first layer which is the hardware layer and then above the hardware layer there is an installed operating system for example Windows 7 or Windows 8 and then I install the hosted hypervisor on the operating system which will be the third layer as you can see over here. And then from the hosted hypervisor, I start creating virtual machines and each virtual machine has its operating system. And here we have some examples on hosted hypervisors like of course the virtual box, the Oracle virtual box. And you can see that there is the VMware server, the workstation, the fusion, there's the Microsoft virtual PC and some others over here like the Colinux and the KVM. Okay, so now we know what is VirtualBox and a bit about virtualization. Let's talk more about the VirtualBox. Now currently VirtualBox belongs to Oracle and you can download it from virtualbox.org. It is a free software and you can install it on Windows, Mac or Linux. As you can see over here, this website is www.virtualbox.org and from here you can download the virtual box. If you click here on downloads, it will open for you the download page and from here you can download virtual box for Windows, for Mac, for Linux and for Solaris. Okay, now here are some advantages for the virtual box. The first advantage for virtual box is that it's free. It can run more than one operating system at the same time. You can run on it 32 bit and 64 bit operating systems. And last but not least is that it doesn't require hardware virtualization. And this is an advantage for people who have PCs that don't have processors that support virtualization. They can install VirtualBox on their PCs and run more than one operating system at the same time. But now all of the new PCs have processors that support virtualization, either if the processor is Intel or AMD. I hope you find this lesson beneficial for you. Thank you for watching and see you in the next session.